In this video, I will show you how to interpolate data from simulation data and export to a CSV file. In this case, the volume of a CFD solution of the Onera M6 wing to an arbitrary set of points imported from a CSV file. First, we'll take a look at our data set by going into Data, Dataset Info. We have two zones, and it's important to note that the variables have a max and min value associated to each zone. Let's now take a look at our arbitrary data. We see that it's simple XYZ data, and we'll now load this into TechPlot by going into File, Load Data Files. We want the text spreadsheet loader. We want our arbitrary points data, and we want to append data to active frame. We can verify that our data were appended by going back into Dataset Info. We see that Zone 1 is our loaded data, and we can rename it by double-clicking on the name, and we'll rename it to Arbitrary Points. We see that for each variable for the Arbitrary Points zone do not have max and min values, except for x, y, and z. This is due to this zone containing passive variables which contain no data. We can visualize our Arbitrary Points zone by turning on Mesh. This black line represents our zone. Let's now interpolate our data, bringing the variable data from the source zone or zones to the destination zone. To do this, we'll go into Data, Interpolate. Notice that there are three interpolation options. Linear interpolation is just like it sounds, it uses a linear interpolation, whereas inverse distance interpolation uses a distance-based weighting. And finally, Krieging is more complicated than this, as it uses a Gaussian weighted average for any given point. Note that as you advance in complication of calculation, you also increase the time it takes to calculate the solution. See the TechPlot user manual for more information about the different methods. We'll just use inverse distance for this example. Since the line is offset from the trailing edge, we don't need to interpolate from the wing surface. We just need to interpolate from the fluid volume. Our destination zone is our arbitrary points, and we'll leave everything else as default, and we'll click interpolate. We can verify that our interpolation was successful by looking at our dataset info. Now when we click through our arbitrary points zone, we see that our variables now have max and min values. We can now write out our data to a CSV file by going into Tools, Write Data as Formatted Text. You can also export a TechPlot ASCII format text file from File, then Save Data. We just want the data we interpolated, so we can uncheck all and just choose our arbitrary points zone. For this example, we won't export all the variables. We'll just export mock and our x, y, and z. We also want to make sure we include variable names. We'll name this interpolated data, then click save to export it as a CSV file. When we open our interpolated data file, all of our chosen variables for the arbitrary point zone have been exported. This concludes our video on how to interpolate data from arbitrary points and export as a CSV file. You can download a free trial on our website and thank you for watching.